Guys, I do not like this. While I was editing my video, I wanted to talk about the earthquake swarm at Vesuvius that worries me. And yes, there were earthquakes at Campi Fligri, but that has escalated while I'm editing this video. So I'm adding this at the front. Look at this, guys. 1.3, 1.6, 2.9, 3.1, 2.9, 1.7, 1.2. And then we've got Vesuvius with this long earthquake swarm. And these are only the ones above magnitude 1. We have way more in the micro seismic range. And really, it worries me that they're so close after each other. And now we have both volcanoes and Naples is squeezed in between them. What is going on, guys? We will look at that in this video. I don't like it. Vesuvius again. I have made reports about Vesuvius uh, almost every week because there are these earthquakes, right? It's unusual. And now Vesuvius starts the new year even more unusual with, I would say, for Vesuvius, a quite large earthquake swarm. So we have already almost 100 earthquakes right at Vesuvius. And that is really kind of strange because normally Vesuvius doesn't do this. If we look at the earthquake list, and by the way, Campi Fligri, same thing, starts the new year with an earthquake swarm. 2.9. So I want to show you the list first before we go a little bit deeper into what is going on here. So Campi Fligri 2.9, 1.7, 1.2. We will see what that evolves into. But then here comes Vesuvius with so many earthquakes. These are only the earthquakes above magnitude one, but we have more in the micro seismic area, close to 100 probably more by now. But look at that 1.4, 1.4, 1.6, 1.5, 1.0, 1.3. .1 and we did have Vesuvius in the last few weeks with earthquakes more than that. If we scroll down, we see just on December 30th, Vesuvius 2.2, 2.1, then 2 Campi Fligri, then Vesuvius again, Campi Fligri, then Vesuvius again, 2.0. So this was unusual that it, it gets higher up with the magnitudes. So do we need to worry about this? I have made videos about how Vesuvius and Campi Fligri are most likely connected. They are connected in some way where scientists previously thought that they are not. So do we need to worry about both of them? Well, let's have a closer look. We know Vesuvius is undoubtedly, guys, among the most famous and celebrated volcanoes in the world, Pompeii Herculaneum. It has been active, it is active, guys, for almost 40,000 years with uh, numerous eruptions throughout history. And it's among the most at-risk volcanoes. That's how it's classified. It's being located in a densely populated area, the Greater Naples area, with more than 6 million people. Uh, so basically at the footsteps of the city of Naples and people are also living along the slopes of Vesuvius and Naples has the a whole card we have to say it like that squeezed in between two super dangerous guys Campi Fligri a super volcano even more dangerous than Vesuvius can you believe it so the current shape how we see Vesuvius right now is the result of the union of an older volcano, they call it Soma, with the most recent volcano of Vesuvius. So Vesuvius grew within the caldera of the older edifice. It was produced by the collapse of the summit following an event, an eruption, very, very violent um, explosive eruptions. And so, although the most famous eruption of Vesuvius is undoubtedly that of Pompeii in 79 AD with the destruction of the Roman towns of Pompeii and Herculaneum and Stabiae, but it's not the only one um, that has been so violent. There's even more violence um, eruptions in the past if we look at the volcano's history. Um, and the history has been characterized, we can say, basically by the last three um, eruptions that have equally been as destructive, the last three Plinian eruptions. And in some cases, they have been even more destructive. So over the course of its activity, and, and you see this whole area, the summer, um, Vesuvius has exhibited um, 
a, a, a wide variety of eruptive styles from like devastating plenian eruptions to lower energy, they call it subplenian and strombolian activity, um, to also quiet lava flows like a little bit Etna style. So in general, Soma Vesuvius eruptive activity has been divided, as we can say, you see it here on this graphic in four periods. A first period in which the Soma volcanic apparatus as a whole evolved. A second phase dominated by four Plinian eruptions, the Pomici di Base um, of Mercato, of Avellino, and of Pompeii, which also includes like minor eruptions um, that we call the one of Pomici Veroline. And then we have a third um, phase that is characterized by subplenian eruptions, such as the Polena eruption, ending with the 1638 eruption. And the the um, the fourth phase between the 1631 and the 1944 eruptions, and 1944, right? That's not that long ago. Um, includes the 1906 eruption, the most energetic eruption of Vesuvius in the 20th century. So this guy, we have to watch it. So it is in this phase that the Soma Vesuvius volcanic edifice assumed its current form, that crater that we see now. And then following the 1944 eruption, Vesuvius has entered a quiet phase in which we can say that its eruptive conduit is blocked by lava from the last eruptions. This phase, scientists tell us, is currently underway and uh, was, I have to say, was characterized by low seismicity and fumarolic activity. But that, in some way, guys, seems to change. And I tell you why. We have quite a respectable cluster of earthquakes going on there right now, over 100 earthquakes. And uh, usually, what the scientists are telling us that these earthquakes are related to the past history, that they're basically like settlement earthquakes that come from gravitational forces and further contraction due to the cooling of the last volcanic event that is still going on. But again, I showed you what's going on in the recent weeks. So there have also been like hybrid earthquakes, which we could interpret as a circulation of magmatic fluids that is going on there right now. So it could be, there is a chance that the earthquakes that we're seeing right now, including today's earthquake swarm, is volcanic, has a volcanic tectonic maybe origin, it could be caused by a microfragmentation of the rocks because fluid is coming up. We're still waiting for the official word what that is. But I, again, I said it in my last video. Scientists say, oh yeah, it's the shrinkage of Vesuvius, the settlement of the collapsed crater. But the, the ground subsidence, right? The lowering of the ground, while well, we have the ground rising at Campi Flegri, but the subsidence on the lower fl flanks around um, Vesuvio have ceased to happen over a year ago. They're not happening anymore. So now we focus on the Gran Cono area where we have the earthquakes and where they said there's also still a subsidence happening. But it seems that that might come to an end as well, that this stops, slows down, and then we could have it reversed. The magmatic system could be warming up again. We could see rise again. So I think while we're already monitoring Campi Flegre, where we know that things are gradually escalating towards something, scientists say we have to at least estimate that there could be a phreatic eruption without warning. And if people live right on the volcano, I mean, we've discussed this. I'll put the Campi Flegre playlist in the end screen. And while we're watching Campi Flegre, we will watch Vesuvius more now, definitely, and I'm already doing this. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. And I have some interesting videos that I have released the last few days 
So I'll put them in the end screen as well. I hope you find one that you like and then I see you in a second. Bye bye.